Okay, so I just thought I'd go through a hand from EBU lockdown. I thought it was an interesting defence. Okay, so the opposition, so our partners here, Steve and uh, Francis, and uh, the defending free no Trump. So it's all natural bidding. Um, because it's a pastime, the three damage is fair enough. Okay. Um, end up in three no trumps. And Steve leads off the uh, fourth highest club. Okay. So basically at this point, it's uh, going one off. Okay. So play the king of clubs and it looks like you should just take a diamond finesse. Let's have a look what Gibbs should actually say here. So here we go. All of them one off so far. And next plays a diamond and take the diamond finesse. Doesn't work. Partner naturally comes back a club. Okay. And another diamond finesse, I think. Let's have a look at what. Yeah. So actually they do take another diamond finesse. But um, it, it, Gibbs says you should play spades, but you're not to know. Um, maybe when the diamond finesse fails, you should uh, give up on it. Uh, well, clearly Gibbs is saying that. Okay, and then go for three, three spades or something. But you don't know how the spades are breaking. You've got this um, horrible situation of king empty opposite jack x. If you play this suit, it could be an absolute disaster. You could end up losing three spades. As it turns out, the spades are well positioned. There's the ace on the left. Okay, so they decided to play another diamond. And effectively, what they're doing is just taking the double diamond finesse. They tried the jack of diamonds. It didn't work. Okay, and now they're trying the nine of diamonds. And that doesn't work either. And so if you look at the diamonds, the way they've been played, these two are both out, and this hand's got eight, six, four. So if you're given suit preference, now if they had a club, they would obviously come back a club. Okay, so they're not coming back a club. So which diamond do you come back? So if you play the eight of diamonds, that is a suit preference signal and wanting spades. Okay, and if you play the four of diamonds, that is a suit preference signal indicating you want hearts back. Okay, so in other words, you've got the king of hearts. And if you play the six of diamonds, that would be a neutral uh, card, so I'm saying I'm not no preference for spades or hearts. So here, uh, Francis plays the four of diamonds back. So that's a clear signal, okay? It's a clear signal, partner has the, that you have the, the king of hearts. You want a heart return. Okay, so you play the four of diamonds, and they ditch the useless five of clubs. And they decide to follow with the seven of clubs and win with a diamond. And next they play, well, let's have a look at what Gibbs says here. So it doesn't really matter what you play as long as you don't play the king of spades. Okay, so they play the ace of hearts. Small, small, small. And then the jack of hearts plays the seven. Okay, but playing upwards, so shows um, an odd number of cards in that suit. Small and this hand wins with the queen. So this is a case of trusting partner. Do does partner have the king of hearts? Okay. So before that though, if you have a look at Gib, oh hold on a minute. Let's uh rewind it. So if we have a look at Gib now, Queen of Spades is the, the best card to uh, play to get this contract free off. So partner uh, Steve actually does that, but not for those reasons. Steve knows that um, South doesn't have three spades because rather than bidding three no trumps, they would have probably tried four spades to be in a five three spade fit. So Steve knows that partner's got three spades and the likelihood is that, well, it's definite that partner will have the nine of spades at least, okay? So I might have nine, six, two, okay? So in other words, it's a winner. So if you, because if you play the queen of spades, okay, it forces the king out, or they can just duck it if they want, okay? But playing the queen, 
if the king comes out, when the next time you play the spades, you play the ace, and then that four of spades you can get into partner's hands, and that is really important. So Steve plays the queen of spades, great play. And then partner plays the two, so indicating um, three of them. And the six there, and then north then plays another spade. Okay. Now at this point, if, um, if partner trusts the four of diamonds, so this is always about, this is about trust. Okay, another thing that, East could have done is, is instead of playing the nine of spades, play the ten of spades, okay, to further give a, a suit preference signal for um, hearts. Okay, so what does pass? So if Steve <coughs> plays the uh, nine of hearts, what that enables the hand to do then, so play the nine of hearts to the king, and now play a diamond, getting rid of the ace of diamonds, which then sets up this last diamond trick, okay? So if that's over there, giving north only one more trick. Um, but Steve doesn't trust, okay? And just knows, play a spade and we'll take the contracts off, okay? So now you've got to now play cash the king of hearts just to set it one more off. Okay, and then dummy's now good because you've got to play a diamond. Okay, so if we rewind, let's just go back. Um, yeah, so we'll go back to this position. Okay, so we're at this position. So instead of doing that, we play the heart. Okay, so this should take it three off. Now play a diamond to set up the dust last diamond. Doesn't matter what you play here. That's useless. Okay, and then the last two are East cards. So take it. Uh... Okay, so you just do that. Six tricks taken. And you're taking it two off. Um... Sorry, taking it three off. Yeah, so three off. Um, we played it in the other room going two off. Uh, bidding was the same, the play was similar, although we were actually given a chance to make the contract. Uh, that was pretty disgusting, the defense to that one. Um, for some reason, East decided to play a spade instead of the diamond. That, uh, but um, yeah, so this is about trust in, in partners carding. Okay, so you need to have trust in partners carding. Um, what I would say is trust partners carding. If, if it's wrong, if they've played the wrong card, that's their fault. Okay, so trust partners carding. And then you get, uh, so if we get 100, we'd get gain three imps on the hand. Okay, which is three imps is a uh, pretty useful Paul on one hand, especially when in an eight board match, if you can get three imps aboard, that'd be 24 imps over an eight board match. So, yeah, um, it's a good example of count and suit preference signals this hand. Okay, okay, thanks for listening.